Nail polish first developed in China about 5,000 years ago, around 3,000 BC. Back then, it was usually made out of beeswax, gum arabic, egg whites, and gelatin. Petals of flowers, such as roses and orchids, often provided the pigmentation and nail polish, and the color colors were very similar to the reds and pinks we see today. It generally took several hours for this nail polish to dry. Nail polish colors also denoted a person's position in society. Nail polish has evolved through the ages, but what we have today is not so different from its beginnings. The main ingredient in nail polish is nitrocellulose, also known as cellulose nitrate, a type of cotton that is flammable and is also an ingredient in gunpowder. Nitrocellulose comes in different by subsidies depending on how thick you would want the nail polish to be. The cellulose is the part of the nail polish that will produce a hard film on the surface of the nail. Over the years, manufacturers have added synthetic resins and plasticizers to make the nail polish more resistant to soap and water and more flexible. The types of resins and plasticizers used today are castor oil, glycerol, fatty acids, amyl stearate, butyl stearate, and acidic acids. The materials added to give nail polish its color have to be put in a solvent that will evaporate so the color will harden. The color of nail polish comes in different pigments and nail polish is a su suspension in which the particular particles of color are held by the solvent which is why you should shake nail polish before using it if it has been sitting around for a while. Other things are added to the nail polish to give it shine such as fish scales, although today many minerals have replaced the fish scales. How it's made. Step 1. Pigments, nitrocellulose, and plasticizers are mixed in a mill that grinds the pigment to a fine dispersion of color. Step 2. Once fully mixed, the pigments are broken into small chips and put into a solvent. They are mixed in large stainless steel kettles, which are temperature controlled. This part can be explosive. Step 3. Perfumes and moisturizers can also be added. Step 4. The mixture is put into smaller containers and sent to a production line where explosion-proof pumps pump the nail polish into even smaller bottles. Nail polish goes on nails and then exudes a certain smell as a solvent evaporates. Once the wet solvent is evaporated, the hard nitrocellulose is left behind. The same solvent is used to make nail polish remover, which converts the nitrocellulose back into a liquid so it can be wiped off. Created using Powtoon.